Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. Uh, so today we are going to start a new series of videos uh, where I'm going to start to build a, a system with you, a platform with you. Uh, this is based on, on previous experience I had uh, and I always like this kind of domain where we are going to work with. And I will, like, I will cover a lot of topics in this course and um, I hope you like it. So let's start. Uh, today I'm just going to explain to you to give an introduction about what we are going to build and how and what we are going to use to build it. So you have an idea and then if you get if you, if you get interested uh, in doing it please subscribe to the channel also share with your friends um, i still don't have an idea about how constant i'm going to be releasing but at, for sure at least one or two videos at every week it's going to be released uh, and i'm also going to be releasing the first videos like in the, in the batch so you don't have to if you like you don't have to wait just right in the beginning so um, i have created like this uh, to give an idea about what exactly I'm going to, to cover on this course. So um, basically what we're going to cover in this course is, is a platform, is a system which works with traffic monitoring. So uh, this, this basically uh, has some kind of features which are, which are going to build and then which like are basically, so I'm having this, the, the, the yellow here, let me remove this, the, the yellow uh, dots and the the orange and the, the pink ones. So basic, the basic, the basic, the basic uh, functioning of the, the application is going to be there will be an application which is going to be running on a machine. Let's consider this some kind of embedded software which is going to do the vehicle detection. It's going to take a picture of the vehicle and it's going to read the, the, the vehicle plate. That's for sure it's going to be in, like in theory. I was checking some possibilities for us to do it uh, uh, like in real to like use a camera or something like this, but that's just a lot of work and to be honest i don't think that's the focus of the course itself so we're going to fake it we're not going to fake a picture or anything but we're going to fake a detection itself and what a detection means here it means that you can imagine like if you are driving your car you have you drive it on a specific lane there will be like a, a an equipment which has like a camera which has a laser for example and this laser detects that's that there's some some vehicle passing by and it's going to detect the speed of your car, of your vehicle in general, it could be a motorcycle as well, it will detect the, the, the speed and it needs to take a picture uh, to mostly to read the plate of your vehicle. So in our case, we're just going to skip the picture itself, we're not going to use any camera and we are also not going to use any OCR to extract the vehicle plate from the from the, the plate from the, the vehicle plate from the, the picture itself, because I want to avoid some extra complication is not necessary for what I'm going to focus in on this course. So we're going to fake everything. We're basically going to have like a fake detection, which returns like a, a, a like a speed for us. And also return some data regarding that of a, a, a fake vehicle plate and stuff like this. That's that's not really much really important because whatever, it's going to be a fake one. And, but this is just the beginning. So we are going to have those fake informations, uh, which we could, for example, if we are doing like a real life application, we can basically replace them with a real implementation, right? So that's, as soon as we have a detection, uh, implementation or detection definition, what, what a detection is and how, how do we call a detection, we can have different implementations for a real camera, for a real uh, detection mechanism, right? So that's totally fine. So we can reuse it. But the important things what we're going to be applying is, some logics which first of them speed check link check that's the first one so for example when you have an equipment you can configure this equipment to say hey this lane here people can drive only for example up to 60 kilometers per hour right uh, you, we can go even through more complex rules like you can the the, the vehicle can uh, drive up to 50 kilometers here from this time to that time or from this day to that day and, but on the weekend, for example, uh, the, the driver can, the vehicle can, uh, can drive like up to 30 kilometers, for example. So those are the limits which are also going to, to implement here. We are also going to have a, an implementation of a rule for the ex exclusive bus lane, as you can, as you most probably have seen this in some cities already, maybe in your city, where you have a lane specifically for bus. And if anyone is driving on, on that lane, there should be a fine for this person as well. So, uh, and also remote configuration of the equipment. So as I said, the equipment's applications, they're going to be like a, some kind of embedded software, which they're going to be running on a machine and they will be communicating with the server, which is going to be executing all the rules. And apart from that, we will, we will also have some other rules, some other uh, processes like equipment failure detection, detection. So this is like a behavior in fact. So we are going to have, we need to have some kind of 
way to a way to detect when some equipment, some application on the equipment is failing, or there, there's some failure, for example. Let's imagine in our case we are not going to have it, but let's imagine we can fake some kind of failure on the camera itself. We need to identify and we need to to have this clear from us to have some, some for example, someone, some mechanic, or some person to go there physically and fix it, right? Uh, verification and report of stolen vehicles, that's also another feature which, which could implement it, which we will be implementing. Uh, because as soon as we have the vehicle, we have the time, we have the, the area where the equipment is being installed, we can also report this information to, to the police, for example. And smart speed limit check, that's something which I'll be discussing later. So this is basically regarding oops, this is basically regarding the features which we are going to cover. Uh, as I said, we so we are going to have the kind of embedded application, and we are going to also have like a server application, which doesn't doesn't necessarily is going to this uh, have to be like a one single server, one single service. It could be a multiple one, multiple one. But one thing which I want to to make it clear, we are going to do like a very incremental development. We are not going to start with microservices, we are going to start with something small and we are going to be evolving this over the time. So that's a very good practice, so let's do it that way. So I'm not going to be create, creating already everything on the very small details, let's make it simple, make it work, test, make it break and then start to incrementally uh, evol evolve our, our, our implementation. We are going to also to cover system observability, so we are going to have logs, distributed logs, uh, metrics uh, using we are going to use uh, open source uh, tools like Prometheus and Loki. Uh, we also are going to have automated tests. So this unit test, integration test, uh, end to end test with APIs. We are also going to have it. We are going to be using Java twenty uh, first. Uh, we are going to use Spring Framework. We are going to be using Kafka as well. We are also going to have some native compilation, not everything, but some cases we are going also to use native, native compilation using Graal VM. And we are going to also have reactive system. So not everything. So some things we are going to build with Spring MVC, some things we are going to spring some things we are going to implement with Spring uh, Webflux. And that's it. So I will go every service, like when we have a small service, we start to break down the service, I will explain how to use them and then we are going to, talk to to go step by step to how to use them, how to implement and how to make them work together, you know? So uh, I hope that that's something which is interesting uh, to you. I hope that you can subscribe and, and follow the, the, the videos and the course itself. The, I will also add the link here for the repository. The repository is already there. So the whole idea is that you're going to be able to run everything locally. So we will start simple, as I said, we are going to have like a Docker Compose with all the, the tools and services and database and everything that we're going to need from the beginning. And later, if I see that courses, like there are people engaging with the course itself, we can still evolve, we can go deploy into cloud, and then for sure I can add more topics like um, uh, infrastructure as code, we can use Terraform, we can use Kubernetes, AWS and everything, but this for sure depends on how people are interacting, how people are engaging with the course, right? So. That's it. That's first. Firstly, the the, the main uh, the main topics which I'm going to be covering. I hope you like it. I hope you're excited because I am really excited. And that's it. That's that's all for today. Next video, we are going to start to set up the service, like not service, but the application itself, the desktop application or the embedded application. We are going to start to implement it and start to, uh, to yeah, basically to design our architecture. So, hope you liked. Um, see you in the next video. Bye bye.